this close to doing a Batman voice. And then I decided against it because I was like, I'm not going to be able to follow through on this properly. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Does it work? <laughs> I was uh, expecting a bit more, like, I don't know, angst, <laughs> gravel, but no, you just sort of went. Wait, uh, no. Hello. I no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <hi>. uh... <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to introduce that podcast? Yeah, I'll do that. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. And that's apparently Batman. Um, I'm Batman. <laughs> See, that Is was that... what I was expecting. Yes. I, I just needed the phrase, you know. <laughs> it's it, it's the it's the it's the sort of gravel that you need. It's not just it's not just the low register. It's it's the it's the growl. It's just it, I just needed the phrase. Just mm. I'm Batman. Um, but also she's. That's that's Lily. Oh, okay, yeah. obviously. Oh, oh wow! I didn't. That that is a very cool shirt. It's it's from my friend David. You can find him at any London or Birmingham or whatever Comic Con, and uh, I'm gonna put the link down below because we love <laughs> David. Love you, David. I had, uh, a, I had a Batman shirt for a while, like classic sort of, you know, just white yellow nice. Batman symbol on it nice. um, that my best friend gave to me. But it was one of those I had to throw it out because it all got. It, it, it was like it was an odd material and after a while um it the uh it it it, it ended up sort of not being particularly wearable after a while okay. sounds fair sounds mm. fair uh it's a beanie day and it is in in, in, in our podcast <laughs> uh, i probably should have had a shower this morning and i didn't so fair beanie it is actually my legend of box market hat there you go there you go always on brand um I, I I will ask this time around. Uh, hmm. uh, what did you watch last week? Because we didn't well, do this one. For yeah, a we while. didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Um, well, as you know, because I have, I was just talking to you about it. I've been watching a show called A Million Little Things yes. uh, with my mother. That's how kind of how we're spending time together at the moment. It's very nice. Nice. Um, it's a bit depressing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's but it, we're having a good time, and I'm I'm watching for Gary, which is. I'm, I'm not even pretending it's like from, from the beginning it was like oh he's the best and then all the kids because they're all so brilliant actually all of the kids in it are incredibly funny and um sweet um but mostly gary um it's, it's it's you know it's it's in the vein of like the this is us sort of era of, of you know the style of of shows family drama but they're like instead of their friends and you know, just like this group of people where it just seemed like everything shit that could possibly happen just sort of happens to them. Nice. So, you know, it's a fun time. And in order to kind of like counteract all the sadness from those episodes, I go and I watch like random episodes of Psych to make me feel better. I'm not, I'm not even surprised anymore. <laughs> I forget I that you haven't known me for that, like comparatively for that long. This is very on brand for me. <laughs> I love it though. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what else? Was there anything else? I watched Fargo recently, oh, like nice. the movie Fargo. Oh, which um, the OG, the OG Fargo. Yeah, um, which I, I which I enjoyed. I did. Um, I I did afterwards go because uh, again the same friend who got me that Batman shirt. I I mentioned I I put it in a Discord I'm in, and uh, he he went. Um, oh, I love that movie, and I went. Yeah, Jerry has no rights. <laughs> he's a he's the worst man. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just the worst. Which made it kind of like, I understand that that is absolutely the entire point of the thing, but it is so difficult to watch somebody you don't like just continue to be terrible as like the main focus point of a film. I'm just like, oh God, stop. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Go away. Yeah. But Francis McDormand is absolutely excellent in it oh my god yes i mean yeah yeah good movie i was just it was in you know i figured yeah, i i i kind of got i went downstairs one morning and was like i should watch like a like a film <laughs> you know <laughs> that most people have seen and that i haven't seen which is most films 
So, I, and I, you said Fargo it. was Fargo was there, <laughs> and I, I and it was only an hour and a half, which is oh that was the thing. I was waiting for my game to download, um, and I was like I was waiting for my game, and I, I I figured I'll do this now. Mm. I will set up for it nice. whilst it's downloading in the background. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What have you been watching? Well, I I uh, hmm. I didn't mm. watch. I wa- I started watching Peacemaker. I watched the oh. first episode, which is brilliant. So I can't wait to watch more. Okay. Um, I I I got back to Titans, which is a DC series yes. because yeah. you know it felt appropriate. Appropriate. For some weird reason, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, there's something else I was. Oh yes, uh, yesterday. I mm. watched Fresh, which is a new movie from Hulu, and uh, Sebastian Stan is eating people. And then... Oh, I think I did see some gifts from this. I didn't yes. realize he was a creep in it. Oh, he was a <laughs> oh, best creep ever. Uh, it was really, really fun. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I realized that uh, Hollywood is after lookalikes because the girl whose name I don't remember, it's Daisy something. I'm sorry. I will look you up, but I'm too tired today to do that. I was going <laughs> to say, if the energy level is at a sort of low currently because Lily is just, as far as I can tell, wipes the fuck out. <laughs> and I'm not very good at lifting energy levels, so this should be interesting. I will, I will get there, I will get there. Mm. Uh, um, and uh, she looks like Anne Hathaway. Throughout the whole movie, oh. I couldn't think about anything else, but that yeah. this girl looks like Anne Hathaway. What's she called? Flash, did you say? Flash, yes. Fresh, sorry, fresh. Fresh. Fresh, yes. Uh, and Sebastian Stan looks like Mark Hamill, as we all know. I mean, well, yeah. So, with that... I, you know, it's like... Uh, Daisy Edgar Jones? There you go. I remember that it was Daisy. I just didn't remember that last part. But uh, yeah, she looks like Anne Hathaway. It's, uh, not on pictures, but in, in the movie. Mm. Like... I couldn't. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, "That's Anne Hathaway." No, it's not. But Daisy she Edgar looks Jones. like yes. <laughs> she looks like her, and uh, that uh, it made me realize that Hollywood is looking for the next lookalikes uh, to oh, yeah. us. And I'm like, ah, I wish I would look like someone. But anyway, <laughs> or we could wish that Hollywood would stop looking for just I mean, like the same people over and over I again. I mean, yes, that's my other point. Obviously. <laughs> Like fucking stop it, <laughs> please. Thank you. Um, but, um, and then I have another Hulu film lined up that I I really want to watch. It's called No Exit, uh, which is. Which I feel like seems, I look. Uh, I saw that recently. Yeah. I I don't remember why, but I feel it, like I, I it, did. It, it looks exciting, so that's that's on my watch list to to check out next. It, it, was it because of you this is the other question you may have mentioned this before I, I it you know it's highly possible I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> very because I you know when I don't get to watch horror movies for a while I get deprived and and I I get really sad because I love horror movies and it's uh, you with horror movies is me with just anything that I need to be able to like consume in yes. large quantities yes yes <laughs> Yes, that's that's my thing. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to watch that. And there's uh, there's something else that came out on Netflix that I want to watch. Which uh, it has Tony Collette in it. Oh, the pieces of her. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's on the list as well. There's too many things on the list. I have to play Horizon. I have to draw. I'm very tired. I've, I've, <laughs> I have also been playing Horizon. I haven't been playing it for a little bit just because Mother Laura and I have been watching um, million little things. But I have I have gotten through. I, I thought I was making good progress and then I got to a certain part of the game where I realized that like they kind of go, here's the actual rest of the direction of the game. And I yes. went, oh God, I've been playing this for like, <laughs> like 16 hours already and I've just gotten here. Yeah, that was me. I, I realized that I was like, ha <laughs> Look, I love open world games. I think they're awesome and there's more to explore and whatnot. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm not very good at them. I, I, it's 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 taken me a long time to learn how to play open world games properly because I am somebody who likes story yeah. over basically anything I'm, else. Um, you know, I'm it, the same. Yeah, and it, it Red Dead 
2 was actually the game that kind of made me go, oh, I can just sort of, I can actually just enjoy the space that I'm in. And like, you know, I never around. finished. I, I never finished it. Oh, God, that is such a I, that was that, it, it, the year that that came out, um, even though I had, I did a bunch of other stuff in the same year, you know, PlayStation does that sort of wrap up thing that they do yeah. now. It was like you put in over 200 hours already. <laughs> Like, yeah, that makes sense. Jesus. It was. It wasn't quite two hundred. It was. It was, yeah. it was. It was. It was a fair. It was a fair amount. I. I, mm. I really liked that game quite a lot. And I the did, ending is so beautiful. Yeah, I, I did enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie, but I. I never got around to finishing it, especially once I realized after like chapter. Is it in chapters? I think. I think it, yeah, it's chapter so, six after you you come back from a place. Oh yeah. No. Why am I? I'm spoiler. I di I didn't even get there. Like I I I now we we just had the shipwreck and then I was like, oh my that was god. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and 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 I I was like, oh my god, there's still more chapters, and I was like, no, <laughs> I can't do hey, it. At I, this point, I, I was to... really invested because yeah. I was like, I I done I I basically gotten very obsessed with um making my Arthur Morgan as good a person as I could. Oh, be. that's me as well. That's why it's taking me so long. <laughs> To, to finish it at one point i will but not now <laughs> i have to finish horizon now um but yeah that's that, yeah i don't have time don't you believe <laughs> oh, um, oh, <laughs> it's okay uh but uh today uh we are here to talk and review the batman the batman uh but uh the batman, the batman. Uh, but uh, we are also here to tell you to please don't forget to subscribe. Yes. And hit that like button. <laughs> I said it right this time. And uh, smash that bell. Smash that bell. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, rate us on Spotify and, and, uh, and Apple, Apple and, and whatever podcasting thing please. you're on and tell your friends and all of the stupid other stuff that you do. Don't say stupid. Just... State that it's, it's very Sorry, good. you're right. It's, it's very <laughs> cool and fun and you should do it always. <laughs> yes. And I, I will get back by energy now uh because uh, I, uh yes 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 uh so let's mm. hear it from you first oh, you want to hear from me first yes what did you think all together without okay. going into detail just all together what did you okay think? all together yes. i thought it was fucking brilliant <laughs> like i'm not even, I, I mean i knew i was gonna like it anyway but i really did think it was beautiful i thought it was so good I have probably have more things that I like about it than you do. I have a feeling. Um, we'll get into this in, into a mitten. Yes. I, I'm not saying that you don't like it. I'm just saying that I think I'm fonder of certain things that they've they've done um, than I think you probably are of some other things. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought it was a, it was amazing. I, the whole thing, I, I loved it. I keep thinking about whether I have when would be the best time for me to go see it again. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. That's my whole thought. I'll go. The specifics will come in a minute. What yes. about you? I really liked it. Mm. I think it's an excellent movie. Mm. It's definitely not the masterpiece everyone is yelling about. Uh, there it is. It, it does have mistakes. Mistakes? Nah, not mistakes. It, it does have... I have problems with it. I will mm. say it like yeah. this and put it like this. Uh, but altogether, it is obviously a very... Very, very good, uh, excellent uh, film with great storytelling, amazing visuals. And it's stunning to look at. It's just so stunning to look at. Oh my God, some of those shots, I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah. and um, as I always said, uh, Matt Reeves is a genius. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the altogether. All of this is true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's get into it. Yes. A bit more detailed. Um... Folks, spoilers. Oh, yes. Just before we go any further, we, we are going to do spoilers. So now you know what we think about it. You can go off and go watch it. Um, it is three hours long. So just. Which is one of my. Problems. Which is one of the issues I do. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so where, where should we go first? Should we, uh, uh... Where should we go through? Okay. Here's... I want to hear. Hmm. I, I was going to say, I want to hear what you have an issue with, but I don't know if I want to start on, on a negative part. But, and I feel like that's going to be the most specific thing because I, I really liked basically everything about it. Mm. Um, so I think I'll be able to talk more about the things that I really liked by hearing what you didn't like so much. 
unless you have some things that you wanted to talk about that you particularly liked first. Uh, I, let let's get through the negative first. I, okay, I let's say... go through the shit that you didn't like because yes. I want I do want to hear this. I think this is the more interesting yeah. bit. It's it it's not too many things. Don't get me mm. wrong. Altogether, I think it's a very good movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, one of the things, I kind of I was like. Uh, it was too long. It's a little bit too long. I because I I got it. I was I was sitting there in the cinema being like, I don't mind how long this feels. I kind of I'm enjoying it. And then I I realized that it was because <laughs> we'd about reached the two hour mark. I think probably. Mm-hmm. And then it, it's it 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 was in that I think last hour that I felt like maybe it was starting to be a bit too long. Mm-hmm. But it, it didn't bother me as much as I thought it was going to. I'll put it. I'll say that. Uh, it it bothered me on the level that I think they could have left out a few things. But here's it: I I couldn't figure out what I would have left out. That was the only that was the thing I was thinking. Sure, it, I can be specific at the moment because obviously it's I have to watch it again, which I mm. will definitely do. Yeah, uh, I, I, to I, be I, like... I may take myself off to this because I did see I saw it at a five o'clock showing 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 showing. Yeah. There you go. On the day it came out and the cinema was basically full and the guy next to me kept humming along to the Ave Maria every time it played. Every oh time. God. Every single time he started humming. It was like, dude. And you could, he wasn't even being quiet about it. It was loud humming. Oh no. I'm going to kill them. Uh, because I'm that's... very conflict averse. I know, but uh, not me. Especially when it comes to cinema. But uh, Well, I'm not going to lie. There was only ten people in the cinema when I watched it. Oh. It was there. We were very surprised by it because you know I watched it on premiere day, and we expected like a huge crowd. And then there you was don't only think people 10... were just expecting it to be out the next day. No, I mean no, more people I... are able to go to a Friday viewing because it's a Friday as well. I'm not gonna lie. I think it was. Be- it didn't do well on the weekend either. Like I, you know, I'm friends. With the oh, it, at, so, at your local because it's yes. been doing very well everywhere. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I'm I like here here uh, where yeah. I'm at at the moment. It didn't do too well. Yeah. But to be honest, uh, yeah, uh, the, the DC has kind of a you know black spot <laughs> uh, on it. So I think people are just a bit like already judging it without seeing it, uh, even though it's a it's you know it's a. Do you know what's funny? I don't think of it as being like I guess a. DC film oh, in the same either. sort of pantheon as as because I don't think it is. It, <laughs> I think it's a DC character, but I don't think of it as being a DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Film. I mean, but we are, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, we are film nerds and and whatnot. Well, this is true. So we're very specific about these things. Yeah. So I don't think that's the majority of, of people yeah. going on. Uh, but yeah, it was very weird that there were only and and everyone was quiet, so I didn't have to kill anyone, which was. <laughs> which is fun yeah, I, I, think... I got into the cinema and um I, th- there was a woman sitting in my seat yeah um it, it turned out okay because she was like oh it's just me and my husband sitting here so do you want to sit there and it was like i was sit- going to be sitting by the wall um which i'd done intentionally because i was like oh there's going to be a fair few people in here when i booked it was like half full mm. it was like if i go near the wall maybe i'll be sort of by myself but they basically i switched seats with her essentially but i was more into the middle and it was like there's already people around me it's fine I was, it's gonna be it's gonna be what it's gonna be i ended up having a better view there you go <laughs> of the screen but yes he did hum a lot this woman's husband uh oh. every time the rv maria played and they had a couple of conversations i was just fortunate the movie was loud that i yeah. couldn't like i it wasn't like i could actually hear them properly i just could you could hear them talking but not like specifically what was being said mm. and it was a bit sort of like they were there with like another pe- a bunch of people who yeah. were sitting in front of us and uh, what I think her husband went like, I don't know how uh, much I'm going to be able to get through this. And I'm just sitting here like, why are you here? Exactly. <laughs> it's a Batman movie. Exactly. It's called The Batman. What yeah. are you expecting to find here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, fun times, fun times. Uh, it was fine. I would ju- I'm just thinking about if I go sometime in the middle of the day, in a weekday, oh, yeah, it might yeah, be yeah. really quiet. And oh, I get yeah. it like a real nice... <laughs> Probably, uh, you might get lucky over then. Uh, mm. But yeah, it was way too long. I, I'm not gonna lie. I it dragged for me a little bit, um, mm. especially funnily enough. Uh, especially by the end, it's because I would have been disappointed with the ending that I thought that we're gonna get. Like mm. because I thought that it's gonna end where they get the Riddler, and then 
done. Yeah, no, I knew that it was going to be more. Yeah, I was like, this, and then, is, this isn't enough. There needs to be another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I realized that, oh, hold on. <laughs> if it ends like this, it's very disappointing. So hmm. I'm like, I was like, there's, there's going to be more. And then, yeah, there was. Uh, and then that was the most exciting part, action wise, especially. Hmm. Uh, and yet I felt like, like, okay, like, okay, yes, okay. We're still here. It's fucking awesome, but God damn it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it, it was. It, I think that little bit just before they caught him was the part where I was like, this is starting to feel a mm-hmm. bit mm-hmm. slow. Mm-hmm. That's the only part, though. Everything in the build up to that, all the stuff, um, uh, it, all of the, the Riddler stuff beforehand and sort of that whole, the, that everything up until like, right, around like that sort of, I guess, half hour. It's very hard to tell time when you're in the cinema and you're yeah, desperately yeah, trying yeah. not to look at your watch. Um, but that's the sort of, yeah, that build up to them actually mm. catching him. I, I did was I, I did feel a bit like, yeah, this is starting to feel a little bit slow. Mm-hmm. But again, it wasn't in a way that I actually felt was. I It wasn't like there wasn't anything I was sitting there going, you could just take this out and it wouldn't make any difference. That was my feeling. Um, yeah, that's why I won't say specifics because I definitely have to watch it again for them mm. to be you know, a thing for me. But uh, my biggest problem is very specific because you have this fantastic man in the movie (laughs) and you dare, you dare to put him in there for like 15 fucking minutes in a three-hour movie and I was so pissed off and especially with this dickhead being a fucking asshole to him. I was like, you can't do this to Alfred. (laughs) (laughs) I was so fed up with how Bruce acted. Oh, I was like, ah, no. <laughs> you can't do this. You can't do this. A- Afrin is the one. He's always next to Bruce. You can't. You can't treat him like this. It's disrespectful. And the circus is a fucking genius. And then you dare to put him in the movie for like 15 minutes. And then he has, and I, I won't even argue about this, the best fucking scene is in the hospital. When oh, yeah, it's a very good scene. It, I, I, it's spectacular. It's, I cried so hard on that. It was the first time where I felt emotionally connected uh, to both of them the most. I was like, yep, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Yeah, I, I do think that, I think that that scene is the, I think that scene is very much the point mm-hmm. of the movie. Yes. Um. Yes. Which is why I, I'm not actually entirely mad about because I like but because it needed to be the point. Like mm. the, the treatment of him up until that point needed to be like that for him to come to this place because this is this is year two, Bruce. He's he's not well. He's mm. blasting Nirvana in the back cave and putting eye black eye makeup on. He's so emo and just doesn't know how to be a person. He's actively telling Alfred he's not his dad. This man is Disrespectful. How dare he? I was I was so mad. I was like, I'm gonna go there and kick his ass. He's he's like he's so uncomfortable and still trying to figure out what he is meant to be and what he's doing. And he think this is it I think that this one of the reasons actually that I really did love this film is the first time I felt like this how do I put this properly? I'm trying to figure out how to articulate myself. The Absolutely fine, you know, billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne that we have seen in everything mm. before. I think makes less sense than this version of Bruce Wayne, who is so riddled by trauma and, um, you know, d- trying to figure out how to how to exist and do something, um, you know, f- from everything else. Th- this version of Bruce makes much more sense than the, any other version of Bruce. I like the fact that he's so shy and doesn't know how to be a person because he's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Mm. That kind of thing. So, yeah, it's like, yes, his treatment of Alfred is awful in it, but that is also the point. I still hate it. I hated it so much. I was like, how <laughs> can you do this? <laughs> because I think it, that I, it, it pays off for me because of where he ends up at the end of the film. Uh, and where he can go from the end of the film into another film because i think he 
he, I like the fact that you feel like he learns a lesson. I love oh, the yeah. fact that the point of the film is that he can't just be hyper violent. Like that is also something that I'm going into all the stuff that I, I do really love about this movie now. Um, I love the fact that the entire point of this film is really looking at the concept of Batman as just a guy who goes around and beats people up and is this symbol of fear. And it goes, actually, this may not be the most helpful version <laughs> of what who this sort of, you know, paped crusader, greatest detective could be. Mm. And that he finds a way to become, uh, uh, find, uh, finds a reason to start moving towards the idea of being a symbol of hope as opposed to a symbol mm. or just a symbol of fear. I think he, has, he ends up, right. it looks like they're put, pointing him in a direction where he can try and be both, mm -hmm. which I love. It's so much more interesting. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, please continue with other points. <laughs> 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 oh, I, oh, I was so angry with that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I wanted to see more Andy Serkis. That's fair. I wanted to see, and he is—he's so good. He is he so is good at it. So good, and I love that little bit where they actually work together because that's such an Alfred and Bruce thing, like you know, figuring stuff out together. And then it was like, "Fuck you, that's all you get." And I was like, <laughs> "You motherfuckers!" Uh, so angry with that. Oh no, I'm, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, I was like, <laughs> um, uh, if they would have killed him, I will say this. I, I would have, have done that. I would have walked out <laughs> right there. I was like, if it, if he's dead, I'm done with you. I don't even care about the end. I was like, yeah, it's it, fair. Mm -hmm. I also think it would have just been a bad idea because, oh, no, like, no. again, the, this whole movie is setting up Bruce as like he can't be by himself. <laughs> exactly. I, um, I, I think what I felt was. Hmm. Okay, you played the Telltale games, didn't you? I did, yes. Okay. Uh, I was like, Haha, you're going to bring in the, oh, the Waynesboro fucking assholes as well storyline. Mm. I like that they didn't because, mm. you know, it's 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 that I scene. like that they were complicated. Yes. They, they weren't That's... all good either, but yes. they also yeah, weren't yeah, yeah. like... They, but they would, weren't bad people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, 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 I like that. I was like, I, I'm not sure. I write. I liked it in the game. I think mm. it, it was a very good storyline, you know. Yeah. Uh, in there, but I was like, eh, I'm not sure if I if I would like it here. I don't know. It, it felt a bit off at first, but then you know we got to yeah the way it resolved scene. is good. Beautiful scene. I love that scene so much. Mm. But <laughs> here's the thing. I think that the Riddler puzzles in the game were so much better than in the movie. Yeah, I I think I will agree with you that they weren't that good. Mm -hmm. Like, they were not nearly as sort of like, mm -hmm. I, 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 you know I love I know. a good cat and mouse sort of mm -hmm. game thing. There were, there were parts of it that I liked. I liked the whole scene in the church. Yeah, that was good. Uh, there was a cathedral? I think it was a cathedral, uh, actually. Cathedral. Uh, uh, was it cathedral? cathedral? Large religious that, that, building. Yeah. <laughs> that um, one. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a cathedral, actually. Maybe, yeah. Um, for the, I liked that. I thought that that was probably the most interesting yeah. of, of those. Um, and I did like what they did with the character of the Riddler. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Pat Paul Dano was obviously fucking incredible, um, as he is in anything like oh. this. He's just, he was so good. He's so good. And so unsettling. And it's already kind of creepy, the sort of things I've been seeing on, on the internet of sort of, there, there's a lot of, um, do I want to know? No. You know what? I'm just going to stop. <laughs> yes, please. <Thank> <laughs> I don't want to know. Let's just, let's just leave that over there. <laughs> yeah, just... Um, he, he's, he's so good. He's really good. Um, but the, 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 yeah, the puzzles could have been a bit more intricate, maybe a bit mm -hmm. more interesting. Um, if they felt a bit like, really that, that's all? You know, mm. it was it wasn't so bad that it was like it, it, it didn't it it didn't feel I didn't I didn't feel like at any point um it was like it was that thing of, of making everybody else too dumb to understand what was going on. Oh, no, but it no, also no. wasn't quite as smart as maybe I'd like it to be. No. Yeah. Yeah, that that was my problem as well. I was like, you know, yeah. Because you know, with, with playing with words and whatnot, which is mm. Yeah, sure, but like you know, the Riddler is so much more. <laughs> uh, but here's what I think, because mm. I I love that scene so much. I know what you think. That 
uh, when Bruce thinks that the Riddler realized that he's Batman. Uh, oh, I really, because I thought he, I, I, did, isn't that the case usually that, that he's like the only person who, who, who figures it out? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, because yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. really thought they were going for that. Uh, it would have been a weird choice, especially that it's just year two you know, mm. for, for this Batman. This I true. think, I, I, the reason why I love that is because, you know, it's, I was thinking about it, like you know, he, he is leaving that uh, those messages to the Batman uh, uh, because he thinks they they are working together and they are fighting crime together. I love that aspect. I was like, I was like honestly, mm. yes, that is also one of my it's one part absolutely ties into the fact that I like the fact that this is the story, the sort of journey that yeah. he goes on throughout this thing, where he's like, oh, I can't be this thing, yeah, because yeah, because bad. It's it's bad because you know he, he even uses his famous i guess famous phrase i'm vengeance and i was like i have seen so many really good memes <laughs> there are some a lot of them twilight based because oh, yeah. they're that funny yeah yeah i saw them as well they are brilliant Who's um, that? uh and i'm i'm going to spoil my i guess i am spoiling my own review because i i wrote a review for cow soup as well uh i don't know when it's up but if it's up by the time this drops i will leave it in the comments or description or what it is uh yes thank you uh but uh in that moment when batman refuses uh, you know we're not we're not working together you know it's I'm, I'm not part of this and you're crazy and whatnot uh the disappointment on the riddler's face i was like matt reeves you're so good that, that that was that was for me that was koba realizing that caesar will always have faith in people and it was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and that's the moment when caesar realizes that maybe i'm not on the right road here <laughs> so i was like beautiful beautiful it, i just i was like oh, yes i love this this is good I love this filmmaking, and then uh, uh, you know it, it. It just became like a big connection for me, which is it might just be my thinking, and and you know view on it. Well, to be fair, he he's one of he is obviously just um, specific voice in. Um, it's hard not to when mm -hmm. somebody is that involved in a process. It's hard not to have like themes and all that sort of stuff that come up and 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 will surface yeah yeah, yeah. Um, especially when they know how to do it well oh, so i yes. think it's it's not it's not out of the realm of possibility that you, you it's fair that you've made that connection <laughs> yeah <laughs> for me it was like oh yes uh such a uh, that scene and the hospital scene with offered are my two favorite things i'm not gonna lie i was i love those so much um and i will say this before everyone comes at me with knives I did like Robert Pattinson uh, as Batman. I didn't like him as Bruce Wayne. Uh, yeah, okay, here's my here's my question, and I think you need to think about this carefully. Okay. Do you not like him as Bruce Wayne because of the way that the character was acting, or do you think that you didn't like him as as Bruce Wayne because you? Mm, I'm trying to figure out how to. What I'm saying is, are you reacting emotionally to the way that the character was acting in the film? Or do you just think that the that he was a bad Bruce? Because to me, it sounds like what you're reacting to is the character, and that actually because of that he did a great job. Um, I think we're still a bit away from the Bruce Wayne he's going to become. True, this is the beginning of something. Yes, hmm. um, but here's the thing. I am at the moment. I'm not convinced he will be able to portray that the way it should be because Bruce is a uh, is very different from you know Batman. Obviously, he's, I he's, I he's kind like... of like that they're not doing. I I think it would be very interesting to see him navigate that differently. I think that because I, I I the idea of him being um like I mean, obviously I understand. Um, the idea that like it, it it's kind of it kind of is the perfect disguise because he goes out and he is this <laughs> version of of a guy um, yada 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 it, he's it, it's like oh you can't be serious Bruce Wayne the guy who's like this 
this mm-hmm. thing that everybody thinks he is yeah, is yeah. doing that in the in, yeah. in the nighttime. I understand, but I think emotionally speaking, it makes like the way they set him up. It makes more sense for him to maybe go be I don't know be something a little bit different uh, or like from that. I, I'm curious to because I I think that obviously we've seen you know the story of. Batman and Bruce yeah, yeah, Wayne yeah. and yeah. Owls and all this bullshit. So many times that we've done it, you know? Yeah. So I'm interested to see what version of this it turns into. Because personally, and I mentioned this a little bit when we were talking on, on Saturday when we were playing our D&D game, this is the first time I've l- really seen this sort of more mature version of, of Batman stuff where I've thought, this was the perfect bedrock for Robin. <laughs> Oh god, again, here we go. <laughs> I think just think it's gonna be like you can make such a good we don't we haven't we haven't seen a proper like Batman and Robin thing. Yep. And I think you could make because this this version of Bruce, I can totally see creating a bat family. Like this guy I can see accidentally adopting a bunch of kids <laughs> and teaching them how to fight crime. <laughs> I just think I think it would be so interesting, especially, and I, I said this actually to our friend Maureen, I didn't say it whilst we were on the call, but I think this is a very good setup to do a proper live action killing joke. No. I, I think that this My is... My favourite one, yeah. Um, I think you could do, um, or maybe you know, it, just everything to do like they did in Arkham Knight, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think you've got the perfect basis to do like Jason Todd, in live action really well mm. and that whole storyline mm. um i did the, the, i just think the emotion i think matt reeves could pull that off so oh, well yeah yeah um which is uh, this is what i want for it anyway <laughs> i'm just like please <laughs> like i think if you because you've already we've, we've got this batman being set up as somebody who who clearly under, is now understanding that he needs to be the symbol of hope and maybe like let people in and, and uh, understand that there are some people worth saving Mm. which you know ties into his relationship with alfred and then if he takes in like a jason todd and then he has to go through the whole process of like potentially losing him come on i just if it could be so good <laughs> oh uh, i don't know if i want a robin uh coming in i'm not gonna lie i'm not i love i love the jason todd uh storyline and and brett uh uh, Red Hood. Red Hood? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Red Hood. I, I had to think about it for a second. Um, yeah. I love that. I think it's it's a great, you know, source um, to adapt. But uh, at the same time, I don't know. I I, I kind of... Uh, I don't know. I, mm. I just because we haven't seen it. And I think yeah. I would like to see somebody try and do it in a way. Because Robin it feels so... Campy, you know. Mm-hmm. I think I think Robin is so tied into like if for people who have only seen sort of um early or like you know early live action Batman mm-hmm. stuff. It's so sort of like Adam West and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. all that sort of thing. I would really like to see somebody try to make a Robin thing, like a Robin story, a proper Robin sort of storyline with um in a in a slightly more grounded setting. Yeah. Um, and I think Matt Reeves would be the person to do that well. I mean, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I love Matt Reeves. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, what I want to see is they could, with this uh, version of the Batman, they could adapt uh, uh, the Court of Owls, which is... Uh, and hearing a lot about that, I don't know much about the Court of Owls. Well, it's such a good, oh, it's such a good story. I love that. I, I think they could do justice uh for that whole storyline uh with this version of batman especially mm. uh or maybe the killing joke that's one of my favorite uh out of all the comics or the very recent uh, three jokers which is brilliant uh i i i could definitely see those things uh happening but at the same time i'm at the point i don't know i couldn't decide who's very uh I can't is say it, is, is, is it Keegan? Is it Ke- Keegan? Ke- Keegan? 
I think it's because mm, mm. I looked at this the other day and I was like, I should look about the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't decide who he's going to play. Mm. I kind of don't want him to be Joker. I'm not going to lie. He is the Joker. I am, I'm sorry to tell you this, but he has been confirmed he is the Joker. He is, um, yeah. yeah. I, I figured from the left, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the, um, it's, it's, it, was, it, was, it was confirmed. Yeah. And that was confirmed in an interview. Um, A few moments later. Keon. Keon. Okay, there you go. Barry Keon is playing the Joker. <laughs> yeah. I'm not... He's he's great. I I think he's a great actor. I just... Mm. Yeah, that's been... I, I've seen a lot of consensus about that, just sort of like, this feels a bit soon. Yes. And I do think I agree. I, I said this to um, our friend John, my lovely friend John, who I love very much, because mm. um, uh, he was he was messaging me about it, and I said, actually, I think you could probably keep him out of the next film. And like, just keep him as like a, a sort of force that could be hanging over it. Yeah. Like, something that... It, it, kind of like a puppet master style thing, I don't know. But like it's sort of a boogeyman vibe, and then have something else happen in the film. Um, I I don't think you necessarily need to bring him into the direct sequel. I think you can hold him off for another film and then bring him into like a third yeah. one. But I don't know if they're going to do that. But honestly, probably won't. But I digress. Yeah, because it's it, you know obviously Joker is the big yes, the big big yeah. one, and uh, everyone wants to see the Joker. Uh, I want to see the Joker. I think the thing is nobody wants to see the Dark Knight again. Yes. <laughs> because the Dark Knight is the Dark Knight. And, and obviously and it's... It's, it's so brilliant and, and, and the, the, it's so sort of, you know. Uh, also, I, I will do this now. I will mm-hmm. call out this one guy, uh, uh, not by name, but uh, <laughs> uh, I will say this. He posted something that I think was like, come on, dude, you can't be serious. Uh, where I get it. You like this movie. I like this movie. I think it's a fucking awesome Batman film. Uh, you don't have to go as low and say that we could stop pretending that the Dark Knight is good because we all know that people only praise it because Heath Ledger is dead and we feel bad about it. And I was like... Oh, buddy, no. No. That's just... Okay. <laughs> you just don't do that. <laughs> I... We know. We, it's, I've, I've expressed this properly before. Like, they're not... The, it, I know they are spectacularly well put together films. Yeah. They're not my favorite. Not because they're bad or anything along those lines. But there is something about, I think, because I, I have seen a couple of people um, who are really big fans of the Nolan Batman movies who were like, I felt that this was ripping it off a little bit. And I don't agree. I think that no, there no, no, is. No. It, it this is um, yeah. Um, I, I I don't entirely agree. It was just somebody that I I, I follow who has you know a particular love for the Nolan Batman movies and mm-hmm. was sort of like it felt like they were nodding towards it too much. And I'm like, I think that's a you thing more than anything else. I think there's some people who are holding those Batman films in their head so tightly that anything that comes even vaguely close to it, they're like, oh, it's just ripping it off. And I'm like, well, you can't not make it. You can't not feel like it's been a bit influenced, right? Yeah, yeah. But what I loved about this film was the fact that it it did, it was quiet. I think is is the thing I liked about it because there is something very and I, I I'm trying to find the right words to describe this properly. There's something very sharp about the the Nolan um, Batman mm-hmm. films. Mm-hmm. Something very sharp about the, the that version of Batman. I think it's because you know he's so loud and angry, mm-hmm. um, and and you know hoarse screaming and and I'm not wearing hockey. <laughs> <laughs> truly one of the greatest yeah um but like this version of batman is so like he doesn't yell Mm-mm. really apart from like in that that scene in the um in the prison when he when he goes to uh no, talk, yeah yeah um when he goes to talk to uh ed ed nashton in this which i also thought was interesting oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you can call him enigma yeah i think maybe they thought it was a bit too camp <laughs> His name is Enigma. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Which yeah, I mean, fair, but it's also like, come on. Man. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, like that's kind of the only point in this movie that he really yells. There's a there's a certain sort of like quietness to this version of Batman that kind of makes you lean in a little bit more in order to kind of, and it, it almost makes him more menacing. Mm. 
But what I really, really liked was by the end of the film, it's like, it is a, you know, dark, gritty, blah, blah, blah. I hate all of these fucking terms, but like, it's the only way to really describe them. Yeah. But it, it's in that way that doesn't feel utterly hopeless, which mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of sort of dark and gritty stuff tries to do. Mm-hmm. Um, it actually felt very much like the story of somebody climbing out of a hole, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, uh, and it felt, it, yeah, it just felt deeper to me. And th- this is the criticism I have a little bit about any of Nolan's films. Um, is that he's, he's, a, he's a spectacular filmmaker and he's very good at plot structure. Mm. Character development is not really his like major strong suit. Like it, Characters in his films tend to serve a purpose towards the plot rather than the plot being the thing that happens to a character if that makes sense mm-hmm. and it's not a bad thing because he does it so well that it, it's kind of like it's become still an enjoyable mm-hmm. thing for a me- thing for the medium that he's doing it in but for me i like like ca- like character stuff you know i like the depth of, of character and i think that this had the depth of character that i would be looking for out of like a batman thing you know um, which is why I think I'm I, I'm I'm inclined to like this more than I would be the the Dark Knight trilogy, personally speaking. But that's not to say that they aren't because I mean I rewatched them because I I for a long time sort of was a bit um, not negative. Well, I was a bit. I, I the Dark Knight Rises isn't as good a movie, but then I went back and watched it again, and I was like, actually, there are issues with this film, but it is so solidly made that mm. it's hard to be like this is a bad movie because yeah. it's not actually no it's a. Uh, it is just yeah it's i don't know i'm going in circles <laughs> it's fine uh i i i am still uh on the point that for me it's still the dark nine like that that's fine that's i just realized I yeah the, uh, that that movie not just because of his ledger yeah, it's quite brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I just moved over. I was like, yeah. well, that's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Obviously, he's he's the German. He's spectacular. Fucking Obviously. awesome. Just, you know, but it's not just because of him. That movie is very complex. I love that it stayed grounded. I, I love the message uh, it provides. I, I love uh, Bruce and Batman's in, uh, inner bo- uh, battle with himself and his decisions and, and you know it's 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 once again the dark and gritty uh, uh, stuff that I I actually always loved about DC. Mm. Uh, I I think they are so good at it uh, and and I love that you know they they still dare to do it because I mentioned this uh, many times many many times that uh, the. OG Suicide Squad movie was supposed to be this very dark, very great. Sorry, thing. I know you said OG, but I really did just hear OG. That was. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, that, continue. <laughs> that was supposed to be. I, I feel like that that was supposed to be something very similar to this, Will. This very dark, very gritty uh, thing. And they just let it go, and I fucking hated it. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know we don't need to go over that again. No, 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 we don't. We don't. But uh, you know, uh, I I will also get to the point where I I want to talk about uh, the characters a little bit. Mm, uh, let's do that. Our, our, our time is running very short. Uh, but I will say this: everyone was fucking awesome. Uh, yes, that's my very honest opinion. Like just great casting overall. Uh, but there are some highlights. Mm. I will I will say. Colin Farrell. So good. Ah! <laughs> so good. So, okay, so the, this is the first time I felt like I actually, like, in all the trailers, I just found it so hard to see him underneath yep. all the makeup. With him on the big screen, it's a bit, I think it's a bit easier just because you can see the eyes a yeah. bit clearer. Yeah, yeah. But it is an incredible, like, the, the physicality of him. And also, he's so funny. Yeah, like I think he is really kind of the light, the, 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 yeah, not yeah, in yeah. like a, like in a comedy way, but he's genuinely funny. <laughs> That's you know the fact that he got cornered by um, Gordon and Batman and was like, "Your Spanish is shit." Yeah, I love that part so much. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, it, and and he, I, I think he will become the penguin that we always needed. Mm. Uh, well, he's getting his own HBO series. Yeah. So, so that's very exciting. It's very exciting because I've enjoyed this performance so much. It was, so entertaining. Mm. Uh, Jeffrey Wright as Gordon. Again, absolutely think that I, I love the fact that this movie really focuses in on the on their the relationship yeah. between the two of them. I, it's um, really fun loved to see. It. Loved it. I loved it. Again, it's it's that scene where they call her the, the penguin because there's such a two-hander in that scene. It's like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Yeah. And there's so much trust between them, which I think yeah. th- there was always like, there, there was always a sense of sort of like Light. I mean, it, we there was there was trust between uh, Gary Oldman's Batman and, mm-hmm. and and Christian Bale, but not. I felt like in the same way that you had in in this yeah, yeah, film. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that this one or these kind of the apex, and I just love Jeffrey Wright in anything. He's oh amazing. yeah, <laughs> Jeffrey Wright is amazing. Um, and um, John Torturo. Pff, I think one of his best performances to date. I'm not familiar with him. He was. Falcone? He was Falcone. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's. Uh, yeah, I mean, I probably have seen him in other stuff, but I mean, he yes, he's very good in this. <laughs> so good. Is is. Have you seen the Transformers movies? No. <laughs> he's he's in the first two, I think. Okay, maybe I've seen like one of them like a long time ago, but like I tend not to watch Michael Bay films. Fair. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I I think he's a brilliant actor. But uh, here, mm, just. Mm. It was just like you know what I'm. I will just hammer it in. I'm fucking awesome, and I was like, yes, you are. <laughs> so he was so creepy, and that is what the character needed. To be fair, the, uh, yes, the scene between when when he out, uh, <laughs> I've just side note really cracked me up to see the Carver twins, um, in the film. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, oh my god, look here it is, yeah. and they just get progressively more beaten up as the film goes along. Poor <laughs> I mean, I think they're both great. Anyway, I, like I, every time they pop up in anything, I'm like, "Hey!" Because they're 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 great and they're very good together. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I, I it would yeah the scene where he pops up as Bruce and he's like, "I want to talk to Falcone," and he kind of like confronts him, but just before the hospital scene. Um, really liked that. Yeah. Um, as, as as a sequence, but it's also one of the things that I the, one of the points where I really liked the way that Pattinson's got to sort of really take put his meat hooks into <laughs> this version of batman and and this sort of really fucked up version of bruce wayne yeah um yeah yeah um, very good obviously i think the most important one is zoe kravitz's um selena kyle is spectacular mm-hmm. and sort of perfect and i love the fact that she is kind of the sense of the the hey there are like you know normal people who are being affected by that you you are you are going out and being vengeance and just beating people up because you're angry that somebody killed your parents. Yeah, there are other people who are being affected by that though who aren't multimillionaires. That is kind of like her. I love everything that she represents to uh-huh. in that film. Everything she sort of stands for and the fact that she gets she, she gets her own. She's she, I just she's amazing. I love I love the way that she got set up in this film. Yeah, properly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she one I of think the best Catwoman's then. Mm-hmm. Seen. I like the fact that she's kind of like his like heart, I guess, sort mm-hmm. of externalized in, in a sense. Um, or just like the heart of I I guess the heart of Gotham. Because the Gotham character mm-hmm. the, yeah. you know, the city yeah. is is so I like um how they, they've sort of put that together as well mm-hmm. um in this. Yeah, I just I, I really like um everything. Just think it's so good. <laughs> Except underusing any circus, which is unforgivable in my book. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you have the only thing I'd uh-huh. say is that there is a potential because I mean, you know how many issues this production sort of I ran know. into. Either. Maybe he was meant to be in it more. We don't know. Well, this movie he- was supposed to be four hours long, so yep. I'd like to think that Andy Circus is in that one hour that cut out. So, yeah, no. and I need cut out. I don't know. I don't have answers, Katie. 
more Alfred. I'm very upset. As if you can't tell, I'm very upset that Andy yeah, Serkis is not in it. <laughs> so, yeah. match waves, I need Andy Serkis in the second one. A more. lot more. Just more. <laughs> we need more Alfred. Like, now. Now. We need... You're not Come my on. dad. <laughs> Whoa. It sounds like I'm going to beat you up, you little shit. <laughs> He's like this sweat this and tears, like smudged all of his black makeup. He's listening to the bar. Fucking oh, emo. I'm a, I'm a beat his ass. How dare oh, you? Oh, funny. Mm, 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 mm. I was like, mm, mm. no, no, you can't. You can't do this too often. Um, but yeah, all together, beautiful movie. Just beautiful movie. The scenery is like, mm, and mm. the music is. Oh my god, I love the music. I love the music so much. Best, best my music ever. I'm yeah, put it really, out there. It's so it's so, it's just so good. Everything was just so good about it. Uh, there were like little bits I really, really loved. I loved how he appeared from the dark. You could mm. hear the footsteps, and I was like, oh, "This is cool. I love that. I love that. I loved." Uh, even if he realizes by the end that that you know he he, he needs to be more than fear. Uh, I love the first monologue he has about, you know, I can't be uh, everywhere all at once, but it's it's fear. That's, you know, it's enough. <laughs> and I was like, mm. Mm, yes, uh, because, you know, that's part of Batman. Uh, it's true. Uh, but uh, it's that ending shot of him leading them out uh, from the water is I like... wanted to talk about this as well because I um, it took me, I had to read a little bit um, to properly understand that sequence. Um, okay. And it wasn't until well, it, it was one of those things where it's like I there's a I, there's an emotional level that I feel like I kind of vaguely understand, but it wasn't until I read somebody who put it into words properly that I was like, oh, okay, this really contextualizes everything properly for me. Just the concept of him falling into the water and basically being reborn, and then becoming the light that is the thing that leads everybody out of the darkness when he's the thing coming from the darkness. Mm. So I was like, ah, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. It's. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I'm like, mm, yes, I love that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really good because you know that's you know Batman is all about sure fear is there for the criminals, but it is also all about hope and justice. That's... I think that the the use of the kid in that as well. Oh, I love this. Very, I I really liked the fact I, that yeah. you, it was like I mean it was it's one of those things that's like maybe it's not subtle but it is very effective. It is. Where he's just sort of like looking at this kid. It's like yeah, that's you. <laughs> That's you. Yeah. It's you. You're there. You're there. I love that. I, I really enjoy that. So, yeah. Uh, 10 and 10. How, how would you rate it? Out of 10. Eight, 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 10 is, is, it's, so, it's so wide. I, I don't, I, I very, very, I don't really give anything a 10 out of 10 because I don't think anything's perfect, as I have mentioned previously. And I think it's good because things shouldn't be perfect because then they're too shiny, all this sort of stuff. A solid nine, maybe nine and a half at a push. I do think it's pretty fucking spectacular. <laughs> I, 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 I will have to say a nine as well. Mm. I, I will definitely. And Matt Reeves is a fucking genius and give him more movies, please. Yes, please make another one. I really do want to see more. Yes. It, it's, I really I like mean, this, this version of the world. Yes. For me, he already proved himself with Planet of the Apes, but we all know then. I already well, yeah, we <laughs> already knew that he was a great filmmaker. It was whether or not he could pull Batman. I figured from the moment we saw I that mean, first trend, I was like, mm, yes, I like this vibe. You know, I mean, you know, you know that his name convinced me to actually care about this at all. Like when they po- when they announced that he's going to be the writer and the director, I was like, yeah, now it's good. <laughs> I'm I'm on. <laughs> I'm like I'm coming. Yes, uh, but yeah, up until that point, I was like, eh. Okay, I'm not a bad man, I'm sure. But then they said Matt Reeves, and I was like, yes! <laughs> I'm coming! Uh, but yeah, solid solid nine. Solid mm-hmm. nine. I, I, I do do agree. Uh, 100%. Um, but yeah, that, that was our review of this brilliant, brilliant movie called mm-hmm. The Batman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And uh, we're coming back next week, and we're gonna talk about something that I've been waiting for for so long. I was about to say, what's, what's next week? The 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 Adam project, the right? Adam that comes project. out on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I am 
you know that. I'm so excited for the movie. I've been looking forward to it for so long. I think it's going to be right in my alley. Like, I really trust them <laughs> right now. One of those <laughs> things where it, it, you see something is like, this was made for me. Yes. <laughs> I yep. understand. Yep, it's it's definitely. I actually haven't like seen the trailer for this, so I really don't know very much about I mean, it in I, terms of vibe, other than Ryan Reynolds and Zoe Saldana, and, and and Zoe Saldana. But like Ryan Reynolds has very sort of, <laughs> I true, but like obviously <laughs> Ryan Reynolds has such a very specific oh, yeah. voice when it comes to comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am interested to see how because I feel like some of Ryan Reynolds' comedy stuff has been feeling a little bit thin for me recently i know he's a very funny guy mm. but like it's it we're, we're, i was starting to get to a point where i was like it just kind of feels like you're doing deadpool a lot at the moment <laughs> and like nothing else from the trailer this feels very different okay all right and uh, I, I think i'm not gonna watch the trailer i think i'm gonna go into it totally yeah, blind that's... other than like what you've told me about it yeah that's completely fair uh i will only just put this here that it's uh the same guys that made free guy which was brilliant last year so yeah, i was feeling it in free guy though this is what i'm thinking uh very different mm. but uh, you know it's a good vibe it's it's like the lily vibe that I, if it's gonna be bad i'm gonna be so sad <laughs> so, i'm very I'm, I'm trusting you guys okay i'm trusting you <laughs> i need this it's, movie to it's be... coming out in three and it's i know four days so. i know but well, I need... by the time this comes out it'll be out tomorrow so. oh yeah uh also turning red is coming out so we might if if you watch it as well uh we might talk about it a little bit uh because that seems like something that's gonna be another great pixar entry uh we shall see uh but yeah this was us for today i got a bit more energized as i yep. promised <laughs> but she uh, woke up well done gang yeah, i woke up uh but yes uh watch movies watch tv don't forget to subscribe to us and you know katie is batman uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i'm the joker i'm gonna make a movie yes um <laughs> it would be an interesting one for sure uh but we love you all goodbye godspeed my friends i'm gonna like screw what <laughs> <laughs>